Guys, I don't like this. Listen. So, I went snow biking with some friends, and when my one of them started up in the parking lot, his bike sounded like that. That's not a good sound. So I threw tie downs in my backpack just to be safe, and by some miracle, he made it out. Well, we got it back to my garage, took it apart, and this is what we discovered. Before I mention that, I just wanted to say the only reason I took the whole motor out is because I actually thought it was going to be a bottom rod bearing. But this is what it was. It was the piston. The piston was super worn out and basically flopping up and down inside the cylinder. And you can see the nasty marks it left on the piston and the cylinder. This right here is me checking ring end gap. You better do that before you put a new piston in because sometimes even if you buy all brand new OEM parts, which I did, OEM cylinder, OEM piston and rings, sometimes they come out of spec. This ring had no ring end gap at all. I've never actually had that happen to me in all the years of me doing top ends, but this one didn't have it. I'm glad I checked it. And yeah, put it all back together and it freaking runs like a champ. Listen to this. So much quieter. Moral of the story here, guys, if your bike sounds like crap, do not keep riding it. He got so lucky he didn't blow up his motor. It only cost, so oh, about 550 bucks for a new piston and cylinder and some gaskets. If the piston would have ended up breaking and going up and hitting valves and stuff like that, the costs would double or triple, if not more. Matter of fact, I did rebuild a bike that had, had to put a new head and valves and all that stuff in it, crank and just parts alone was like 2,500 bucks. So if your bike's making bad noises, replace it while it is cheap. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you subscribe, check out all the links. If I put any links in the uh, video info section, click on all these other playlists, thanks.